Hey Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you all so much for joining me. I do appreciate you guys' viewership, engagement, like, subscriptions, comments. Please keep them coming. They greatly benefit my channel and I thank you in advance for that. All right, Sagittarius placements. This could resonate, may not resonate for everyone. It's definitely not going to resonate for every single Sagittarius. But maybe if you came across the channel, you know, the universe could have put you in alignment with my reading. I don't believe in coincidence, so it's quite possible this will resonate with everybody who comes across it. But don't bank on that. Take what's yours, leave the rest with someone else. Don't try to force anything. Flip the rose if you need to. It could be past, present, or future energy I am picking up on. And I am going to take this one on top. I'm not going to take that one. And let's get into your reading. We're going to start with a shadow or light message for you. We're going to do career, finance, general messages, and then end with love and advice. We start with your shadow or light message being, I would risk it all for you. Some of you are connected to an Aquarius. Someone who's interested, um, lusting after you, slightly obsessed and admiring you. Okay. Also be a Leo. Let's get your career and finance messages and we will get back to that when we touch on love. Okay. So someone's ready to make an advance towards you. They're admiring you. Could be a secret admirer. Maybe you already connected. Maybe you already know. Okay, I'm not taking those. I'm not taking those. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Korean finance messages spirit for the Sagittarius Collective. Why am I getting the same cards going out? That's not, something's wrong with that. Let's try this again. We have beauty business. So some of you could work in the beauty industry. I, I don't know what capacity. Maybe you're an MUA, a makeup artist, a lash tech. Maybe you do, um, what do you call it? Microblading makeup hair i don't know the beauty industry you beautify things or people sagittarius i'm hearing a clothing boutique it could be anything to make um, in particular women feel or look better we have the four of wands while well, we have an event plan a property investor a designer so that could be what you do as well gardener or florist it says it's time to invest this is about financial stability celebrations stable the fact that you're stable and picking up steam. So some of you may be thinking about starting or getting involved in the beauty industry or starting a beauty business. You can have Aries placements. You can even have someone around you who is an Aries who may be helping you. I don't know. But if this is time to invest, I can't give y'all financial advice. I can only tell you to consult someone who can work with you, who's a professional, but maybe explore this as an option after you consult a professional. One more card for the Sagittarius Collective. Backlog. So it says you're behind on something. Swamped at work or overloaded. Sagittarius, this is your own energy. Some of you could be working multiple jobs or you could um, be working a lot of overtime. You could feel like you don't have a lot of help at work. Like it's like the bulk of it is falling on you. You could be behind on a project here, maybe trying to play catch up. And I'm going to leave it there. I'm not even going to go into trying to clarify that with the tarot because they were pretty straightforward. Either they resonate or they don't, and y'all know I'm trying to force it. Let's get some general, personal, general. Um, I call these personal development cards. So whatever you need to hear, it could be finances, it could be love, it could be your own personal growth and development. Whatever you need to hear right now. Drunk text. Ooh, somebody is ready to risk it all for you, and they're gonna reach out in a drunk text. They're gonna have that liquid carriage. Okay. <laughs> Could be somebody with a drinking problem, y'all. I don't know. They might be texting you when they're out partying or when they come back home from partying. This could be someone that you already are connected to. They are obsessed with you, though. We have setting better boundaries. Ooh, so that's what it is. A lot of you, they're ready to risk it for you because you set some better boundaries. This is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Maybe you're connected to an air sign. Or maybe you have air sign placements because this is coming across as your energy. Setting better boundaries. Maybe not taking bread from you, low ball offers from people is what I'm hearing. Especially with a drunk text. We have picking up the pieces. Sagittarius, this is you getting back on your feet and rebuilding. Okay. Oh, I'm going to read this one. One or more of your relationships is holding you back from your higher calling. Make changes as needed. Again, setting better boundaries. Some of you, there's somebody here who's obsessed with you. I'm feeling, feeling spirit telling you to leave this person alone, y'all. Show me drunk text. Well, who's this person? Let's see who it is first. 
The Seven of Pentacles is either a Taurus or someone you've invested a lot into. Maybe even money. Um, you've invested a lot of time, energy, and effort into this person. This is a person who you could have been friends with before anything else. This is the card about friends moving into um, a love situation, like a friend situation turning into a love situation. It's also a card of gestation. So some of you could be pregnant or you could end up pregnant. If you respond to this drunk text, show me um, what they want to say. Queen of Wands, that they're still attracted to you. They're obsessed with you. Extremely attracted. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They're seeing you as this Queen of Wands. They're telling you they want to make the effort now. This is a card of patience and planning and perseverance. So this is a person who's not going to give up on you. They're going to keep trying. Show me why we have setting better boundaries. This is Queen of Swords energy. We got the High Priestess and we got the Two of Wands. Because I'm feeling like in order for you to move forward with your life, um, this is Aries, Cancer, and Pisces energy. In order for you to move forward with your, with your life, you're going to kind of have to shut down with this person and not really be expressive of any feelings, even if you're still in love with them. I feel like you're going to have to hold that close to your heart and move forward because this is about um, progress. This is about moving forward. This is about thinking long term, planning for the future. OK, I feel like your future does not include this person. And if it does, it's going to be something that you have to keep secret for right now and make them earn it. Picking up the pieces is the page of swords. Yes, very guarded. Definitely setting better boundaries, not taking anybody's foolishness, strategically planning for your future moving forward. Some of y'all could be moving, traveling, maybe even going back to school. Let's put these away and move on to love. Let's move on to love. Love messages for the Sagittarius Collective. Spirit. And my stomach is about to stop growling. I'm hungry. Hope y'all don't hear it. Okay, I'll see you in court. Ooh. Ooh. That's Reggie. You could be connected to someone named Reggie. If some of y'all have a, a home where you got those two staircases going up, I think that's so pretty. <laughs> the, the double staircases. That's just so random. Um, okay, so some of y'all could be in some kind of legal dispute with someone. Could be going through a divorce or child support issues. I told you somebody could be pregnant. I fantasize about you while I'm in bed with someone else. The name Nikki is here. And uh-uh, see. <laughs> this person still is obsessed with you. They're lusting after you. So they could be in another relationship or seeing other people, but they're still thinking about you. I was selfish. You were not my priority. Some of you, this is a Capricorn or you're on a Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. The name Jamal is here. Let's get one more. So they didn't prioritize you. Now they want to. We have, I'm leaving them for you. The name Samia. Okay. So they want to leave this person. Maybe they're going to divorce someone else. Or separate from someone else to come back towards you. Bottom of the deck in your eyes, I just wasn't good enough. I feel like that's how you feel. And now they want to come back. Show me I'll see you in court. What are they going to court for? Okay, that's too much. But that was a marriage card, which could imply that somebody's getting divorced or separated. The devil, ooh, toxicity, Capricorn energy. This is this person being very obsessed with you. Does some of you, some of y'all can have like a restraining order against somebody. I'll see you in court with the devil. This is a controlling, possessive, codependent, obsessed, lustful person. So some of y'all can have a restraining order or be thinking about getting a restraining order against someone. What does that fantasize about you while in bed with someone else? The world. Because you complete them. They found their completion in you, but they weren't satisfied. And a lot of them are still looking for that. You know, the world card can represent somebody who has it all, but still feels unfulfilled. So this person could have it all, but they don't have you. So they feel unfulfilled. You complete them. They love the way that you love them. And this other person is not doing it for them. Mm -hmm. I was selfish. You were not my priority. Ace of Pentacles. So this is a person who juggled you, did whatever they did. They had other priorities, things more important than you. Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn. I forgot to say this could be a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Um, so it looks like this person is down there. Now that they have thought about it, they weren't. Thinking about you before they were selfish, you were not their priority. Now they want to offer you something solid and stable. That's what the Ace of Pentacles is. It's building on a firm foundation. It's a solid connection, okay? 
It's a card of manifestation. So now they want to manifest this reunion with you. Show me I'm leaving them for you. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so some of them are in a long-term commitment with someone else. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You got a lot of pentacles. A lot of earth energy um, and fixed sign energy. So it looks like this person is making a plan. But they're going to take their own sweet time to do it. This is also a card of manifestation and mastery and things moving slow and steady. Um, yeah, I mean, it says, in your eyes, I just wasn't good enough. Temperance, okay. This person was very slow. They could have been slow to commit to you. These are two cards that are slow to commit. King of Wands and the Higher Fund is their commitment right there with the Five of Swords. Somebody fought you tooth and nail about committing. It could be somebody that's a very attractive person that likes to get a lot of attention. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, or an Aquarius. Sagittarius, just in case I didn't say that. Let me see um, some advice for you. So the temperance card tells me that this person wants to come in and harmonize this connection. Um, second option. Yeah, they went with the second option and they're not happy because they're sitting over there fantasizing about you. While they're in bed with the second option. You still miss me. They want you to still miss them. But they're missing you. And then you love me. At the bottom of the deck. I feel like they have wishful thinking that you still feel the same way. But I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't think you do. Although this person seems like they're very attractive. Very attractive. To be very tempting. You feel like you belong with them. Or they feel like they belong with you. But um, I feel like they sabotaged this connection. Something they did backfired on them. And yeah, again, you could have been married to this person. You could have ended up divorcing them. Maybe that's why we have I'll see you in court. But I do feel like some of you can have a restraining order, some type of protection order, something in place. Like, comment, subscribe. That's it, y'all. Peace.